वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लर्न ऑनलाइन टूडेज टॉपिक इज एपिथीलियल टिश्यू द एपिथीलियल टिश्यू इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द एपिथीलियम नेक्स्ट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन एपिथीलियल टिश्यू द एपिथीलियल टिश्यू हैज फोर बेसिक कैरेक्टर्स फर्स्ट द सेल्स ऑफ द एपिथीलियल टिश्यू आर अरेंज इन सिंगल लेयर और मल्टीपल लेयर्स the cells lie on a simple single basement membrane which is also known as the basal lamina third there is minimal or no intercellular substance between the cells and lastly the epithelial tissue is avascular therefore the cells derive their nutrition from the underlying capillaries through the process of diffusion next we will discuss about the functions of the epithelial tissue the epithelial tissue behaves in five different manner protection absorption secretion excretion and sensation it covers the body surface and acts as an interface between the environment and the body therefore here it is protective protective in nature next absorption it lines the body cavities therefore it also acts as an absorptive organ secretion it gives rise to the glands and ducts therefore it acts as an secretory organ fourth excretion the epithelium lining the distal convoluted tubules of the kidney and the collecting ducts of the kidney therefore it is excretory in nature and lastly sensation the epithelial tissue is modified in the form of rods and cones of the retina of the human eye therefore it is sensory in nature next are the types of the epithelial tissue simple pseudo stratified and the stratified epithelium the classification of the epithelial tissue is based on the number of layer of the cells the shape of the cells and lastly the cell surface modifications the simple epithelium is made up of single layer and is present on absorptive and secretory surfaces of the body and at the sites of exchange of substances not subjected to stress it is of three basic types simple squamous simple cuboidal and simple columnar simple squamous epithelium is made up of single layer of flat cells these cells lie adjacent to each other this type of epithelium is meant for exchange of substances the sites where this type of epithelium is present in our body are the blood vessels the alveoli the bowman's capsule the peritoneum and the pleura next type is the simple cuboidal epithelium it is made of cube shaped cells single layer of cells and it is found in the ducts of the various glands like the thyroid gland the small ducts of the digestive glands the germinal epithelium of the ovary the retinal pigment epithelium and the respiratory bronchiole the third type is the simple columnar epithelium in this there are column shaped cells these cells have the uh, the length of these cells is more than the width of the cell this type of epithelium is present on the secretory and absorptive surfaces in our body now what are the secretory and absorptive surfaces in our body the uterine tube the uterus the uterus the eustachian tube the tympanic cavity the small bronchioles and the bronchi these are in these 
the simple columnar epithelial tissue is present. The next type of epithelial tissue is the pseudostratified. Now, the pseudostratified epithelium is made up of two words, pseudo and stratified. Pseudo means false and stratified means many layered. The cells are of different height as you can see here. The height of the cells vary in nature. Though it is single layered but mostly there are tall columnar cells. The nucleus that are present in, the in this, this type of epithelium, the nucleus vary in level. Each cell is different in shape and the level of the nucleus also varies. Therefore, it gives a false appearance of stratification. That is, it appears to be multi-layered but it is single-layered. Therefore, it is known as pseudo-stratified. That it gives a false resemblance of being multi-layered. It is present in the respiratory tract and the male genital system of humans. Next is the stratified epithelium. The stratified epithelium ha has been derived from the word stratified which means having more than one layer of cells. It is of basic five types. The stratified squamous non-keratinized, the stratified squamous keratinized, the stratified cuboidal, stratified columnar and the transitional epithelium. First we will discuss about the non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. It is made up of 5 to 6 layer of cells as you can see here. The basal layer that is the layer of the cell near the basement membrane is single layered and is made up of columnar cells. Above the columnar single basement uh, basal layer are the two to three layers of polygonal cells and on top of it or the super, uh, superficial or the top layer is made up of stratified non-keratinized squamous cells or the flat cells as you can see here. The same flat squamous cells are present on the top which is non-keratinized. So this type of epithelium is present in the oral cavity of human beings. It is also present in the tongue, tonsils and the pharynx and the esophagus. The keratinized stratified squamous epithelium similarly it is it is similar to this non-keratinized stratified epithelium but the only difference is the presence of an additional keratinized layer. A single layer of keratin is present on the superficial cells. This epithelium protects the exposed and the dry surfaces of the body. So what is the most common top layer of the body? The skin. Therefore the example where this type of epithelium is present in the human body is skin. Next we have the stratified column cuboidal. The stratified cuboidal epithelium consists of two layers of cuboidal cells. Whereas the simple cuboidal epithelial tissue was made up of single layer of cuboidal cells. It is present in large ducts like the sweat glands and the mammary, mammary glands. The next is the stratified columnar epithelium. 
it is made up of two layer of columnar cells the only difference is the number of layers the simple epithelium had one layer of cell whereas the stratified epithelium the cuboidal and the columnar are made up of two layer of cells the shape is the same the stratified columnar columnar epithelium is present in the anal mucous membrane and the urethra and in the conjunctiva of the eye and last the transitional epithelium now how this term has been derived because the cells in this type of epithelial tissue they change in shape the basal membrane to the superficial sorry the basal layer of cells to the superficial layer of cells they undergo transition firstly there is the basal layer of columnar cells above it is the 5 to 6 layer of cells of cuboidal or the poly sorry not the cuboidal the polygonal cells and the superficial layer of flat cells or the umbrella shaped cells they are not flat in shaped as you can see in the squamous epithelium whereas here the cells the superficial layer of cell are umbrella in shaped where this epithelium is present in the human body it is present in the pelvis of kidney the ureter and the urinary bladder because the cells undergo modifications therefore it is known as the transitional epithelial tissue the basal layer is made up of columnar cells the polygonal cells and the superficial cell layer which is made up of umbrella shaped cells the point to be noted here is that the superficial layer is not flat in shaped that is it does not have the typical flat squamous cells as it is present here the cells in the superficial layer in the transitional epithelial tissue are umbrella in shape so students today's topic was epithelial tissue or the epithelium thank you